Australia's severe weather season is here and forecasts are suggesting an above average risk of floods and tropical cyclones thanks to a La Nina weather pattern forming over the Pacific Ocean. La Nina typically shifts warmer waters from the tropical Pacific west towards Australia and those warm waters then become fuel for tropical cyclones to develop. This season, it's predicted that around 11 or more tropical cyclones will form, with about four crossing the coast. La Nina also drives more rainfall and cloudiness to Australia. Our most recent outlook is suggesting higher odds of above average rainfall, particularly in the southeast of the country, where we, we already have fairly full dams and reservoirs, and the soils are sodden and the rivers are full, so there's not much place for that water to go. With more rainfall and cloud cover inland, we'll likely see fewer scorching hot days this summer. But the heat waves could feel just as intense, with little relief at night time as clouds trap the heat in. The heat waves that we see this summer, even if they're not as extreme as what we see in some years, may actually last longer in parts of the, the south of the country and may be more humid, which could be just as detrimental to human health as extreme dry heat. The forecasts also suggest lower bushfire risk in parts of southeast Australia thanks to wetter soils and less dry vegetation present since the catastrophic black summer fires. But the risk of grass fires will likely increase. The winter spring rainfall that's associated with La Nina typically causes more vegetation to grow, particularly grasses. So fast moving grass fires might become a problem later on in the summer when that grass dries out. Meteorologists advise keeping a lookout for extreme weather warnings, especially if you live in a fire, flood or cyclone prone area. The Australian Academy of Science, because questions need answers.